Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to a late night episode of What's the Real Rating? Today, I want to talk to you about the video game Dead Cells. Dead Cells is a fantastic little Metroidvania roguelike romp through a very bleak and, quite frankly, depressing, if but macabre, humor filled world where you are on an island kingdom and are basically trying to do different boss runs and in again a metroidvania style type of game that being said unlike something like hollow knight or metroid or castlevania you actually go through each level and then when you get to the end you can't go back but the difference is is each time you go through these levels um it's completely different so there's not you're not really you're yes you're missing things but you're not missing these things you're not gonna never see again if you ju if you know just it's easier to just restart the game from scratch um as far as the combat goes the combat feels very very good you have three types of weapons brutality which are up close personal uh, very physical weapons that uh are that are that deal damage then you have um um hunter style or or tactical style weapons which are um, usually long range, usually involve um, tactics, you know, powers that involve damage over time, maybe turrets, um, bows, whips, things of that nature, things that maybe add status effects or change things around the world. And then you have um, survival. Um, and the survival abilities are usually about defense they're usually about damage mitigation they're about keeping your enemy away from you they're about um they're basically built to keep you alive in a way and and all of their skills sort of reflect that or all this all the pickups reflect that and it's color-coded red for brutality purple for uh tactics and green for survival um there are multiple different bosses, and they have put out plenty of free DLCs for people who have already bought the game, such as the Bad Seed DLC, the um, Barrels of Fun update, things like that. And, they've, and they're constantly updating the game with new things for that are that are just as fun and interesting. Plus, you have incentive to play the game daily with their daily challenge runs. So, if you can tell that I've put a lot of time into this game because I know a, a, a decent enough amount of it, and I will say that it is quite fun and worth your time. If you like platforming and, and you like very set and and you like pixel art, try this game. It's very very good. And I will say, despite being a pixel art game, the combat itself is very tight and it feels good. Like when you hit things, you feel the impact with the sound the visuals and the rumble from your controller i would highly highly recommend playing this with a controller i am a keyboard and mouse man myself every day of the week but even i have but it it feels it's one of those games that feels right to play on a controller you know and um you know uh you you can do multiple runs of it you know you you have the base level normal and then you and then every time you beat the game on an on the subsequent harder and harder difficulties you get the a, a thing called a boss cell and those boss cells will rank up the difficulty to something a little more obviously difficult and i think the max rank is five and then at max rank 5, you have the possibility to find every possible drop, every possible everything. But, little uh, pro tip for the game, um, you can actually roll, dodge, and hit the door in the in-between areas. You don't have to spend all your souls at the collector. You can avoid that. And that's actually something you might want to do simply for the fact that sometimes you pick up drops that you really do not want. They're kind of garbage. You know, the, be the honestly, it's, it's counterintuitive to what the game wants you to be doing. It's actually best if you have a very, very, very small loot pool. The smaller your loot pool, the better weapons you have access to. And the better weapons you have access to, the more likely you are to succeed. If you have a large loot pool, well, you, you, you're going to end up, like, the amount of runs where you get exactly what you need to be successful are going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And that can be rather difficult. But I digress. 
Uh, Dead Cells is a fantastic game, highly worth your time. And um, pick and since um, this is coming, um, this episode is going to be coming out after Christmas. Um, pick it up for like a New Year's little gift if you're having a New Year's party and you want to pass a controller around a console or a computer hooked up to a TV. Be my guest. This is a great one. And for you streamers out there, this is a excellent game to play as well. Um, keep an eye on our Twitch channel and our social media, actually, as it pertains to this, because we're going to start streaming Dead Cells once a week, every week going forward. Um, that said, thank you so much for listening, and we will see you guys in the next episode. As far as how we're going to rate Dead Cells, um, we'll rate it a 